ਤੋਂ ਚਾਲੂ ਕਰੀਏ ਸੋ ਨੋ ਫਲੈਗ ਕਿਉਂ ਸਿੰਕ ਕੈਰੈਕਟਰਸ ਆਰ देयर ਇਨ ਅ ਟੀਡੀਐਮ ਫਰੇਮ ਸਟਿਲ ਇਟ ਪ੍ਰੋਵਾਈਡਸ ਅ ਸਿੰਕਰੋਨਾਈਜ਼ੇਸ਼ਨ ਮੈਕੈਨਿਜ਼ਮ ਫਰਮ ਸੋਰਸ ਟੂ ਦ ਡੈਸਟੀਨੇਸ਼ਨ ਯੂਜ਼ਿੰਗ ਵੇਰੀਅਸ ਕਲੌਕਸ ਓਕੇ so that is possible synchronization with the help of a clock in case of this how it is possible each time one bit control is added in each tdm frame which identifiable bit pattern is used to control the channel and while incoming bit patterns they are compared on each channel they are compared with the sync pattern so okay typical sync pattern i when it is found then the two source and destination and they will sync with each other so basically common pattern is set between sender and receiver like this one 01010101 this is a pattern okay so common bit pattern is set between sender and receiver and if this bit pattern comes across that means then the two sender and receiver will sync with each other and then they will start sending the bits the bit pattern jeva same sender and receiver madla asel teva sender and receiver ekmekanchi synchronize hota tha bit pattern sapadla nanta ani nantar data bits send kele jata so that is how the sender and receiver synchronize with each other with the help of a bit pattern ek bit pattern set kela jato like 0101013 vela ale ki acha pude jo kai yeil that will be a data a mutual understanding asta and then data will be sent over the network i am getting some messages okay leave it Hmm. Uh concept is pulse stuffing. Okay. Now pulse stuffing ka hai that mainly apan je kya vaparto that is a synchronization. Apan mhanto se technically synchronize time division multiplexing. Manje ka asnar hai sender and receiver mele synchronization ka hai. आता आपल्या समोरासमोर असून म्हणजे बरेचदा स्टुडंट स्टाफ असेल किंवा तुम्ही दोन फ्रेंड समोरासमोर असून पण सिंक्रोनायझेशन नसतं बरेचदा वाय बिकॉज इच हॅव इट्स ओन वे टू बिहेव्ह राईट प्रत्येकाचं वेगळं मत असतं सिमिलरली सेंडर अँड रिसिव्हर आर नॉट इन अ सेम कॅम्पस सेंडर इज ऑन अ डिफरंट लोकेशन रिसिव्हर इज ॲट अ डिफरंट लोकेशन अँड देर मे बी इशूज ड्यू टू एन्व्हायरमेंट issues due to connection issues due to light connectivity ase barech astat manje sender send karat asel maybe receiver kade power off jhala power shut down jhali maybe receiver maybe in a out of context state kiwa receiver kade ani kahi tari problem asel so there may be connection loss asel so there may be any problem ani sender have to चेक म्हणजे सेंडर आणि रिसिव्हर एकमेकांशी जेव्हा सिंक्रोनाइज इन दॅट केस इफ देर इज अ पॉवर लॉस इफ देर इज अ कनेक्शन लॉस देर वेल बी अ लॉस ऑफ अ डेटा फॉर एक्झाम्पल आता जर माझ्याकडचं कनेक्शन तुमच्याकडचं कनेक्शन गेलं किंवा माझ्याकडचं कनेक्शन गेलं दो आय एम टॉकिंग यू विल नॉट रिसिव्ह माय डेटा राईट सो दॅट इज अ लॉस ऑफ अ डेटा तुम्हाला काही मिळणार नाही सो दॅट इज अ लॉस ऑफ अ डेटा सो वॉट इज द इम्पॉर्टंट थिंग देर शुड बी अ सिंक्रोनायझेशन बिटवीन सेंडर आणि रिसिव्हर so main problem or main difficulty in designing this is nothing but a synchronization synchronous time division multi synchronization of a various data sources are required if each source has a separate clock the same matla pratyek source sa kiwa destination sa different clock cycle asta tumhi jar not only time difference jar vegla country madhe asel tar time difference pan asel इवन सेम कंट्री मध्ये असेल तरी बरेचदा तुम्ही क्लॉक वेगळ्या टाइमिंगला सेट केलं मी क्लॉक वेगळ्या टाइमिंगला सेट केलं देन देर इज अ क्लॉक डिफरन्स और क्लॉक ड्रिफ्टिंग ऑल्सो पॉसिबल क्लॉक ड्रिफ्टिंग कसं असतं की मेनी टाइम्स माय क्लॉक रन स्लो बेट स्लो युअर क्लॉक मे बी रनिंग बेट फास्ट इन दॅट केस ऑल्सो देर इज अ 
time drifting or a clock drifting. <laughs> so, या केस मधे हा वेग इश्यू मधे का प्रॉब्लम तो तर यू विल लॉस द सिंक्रोनाइजेशन जर तुम क्लॉक ड्रिफ्टिंग असेल थोड़ाफार क्लॉक मध्य डिफरस थोड़ाफार कनेक्शन प्रॉब्लम इन दैट केस देर विल बी अंडर रिसीवर इश्यू मधे का होता इश्यू ऑफ अ सिंक्रोनाइजेशन सो ऑल्सो द इश्यू ऑफ अ डेटा रेट्स बिट्वीन सेंडर एंड रिसीवर इज अ पॉसिबल सो डेटा रेट ऑफ अ डिफरंट सोर्सेस मे नॉट रिलेट टू द रैशनल नंबर रैशनल नंबर कस जस मटले तुम्हारा मोबाइल कंपनीज ने संगित कि आम्मी तुम्हारा आता फोर जी फोर जी वी कैन गिव अप टू टेन एम बी पी एस सो टेन एम बी पी एस इज अ रैशनल फिगर कि a maximum amount of figure each time you will not get the same 10 mbps speed pratyek vela tumcha mobile 10 mbps ni send ani receive karel asa nahi na it depends upon network range it depends upon the condition it may vary from 1 mbps to 10 mbps tum idhar tya mobile madhe rate on karun thevla ki 4g che details ha other each time if you observe 4.6 4.8 राइट वन पॉइंट टू लाइक वाइज द इवन कधी कधी केबीपीएस मध्ये पण जातो आपल्याकडे डेटा रेट बरोबर आहे सो द डेटा रेट इज फ्लक्च्युएटिंग बिटवीन द सोर्स आणि डेस्टिनेशन सो डेटा रेट पण सेम नसेल तरी इट विल कॉज अ कनेक्शन प्रॉब्लेम आणि सिंक्रोनायझेशन लॉस होऊ शकतो इफ वी लूज द सिंक्रोनायझेशन द मेन थिंग इज वी विल लूज द डेटा एम आय ऑडिबल एम आय कनेक्टेड Yes, I think I am connected. Okay. The data loss who should do? That's why I said, "Try to avoid this." What is the technique used? The technique used is a pulse meter. 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 The technique used is a so what is carried out in a pulse stuffing so in pulse stuffing what we are going to do is nothing but we are going to the name itself suggest we are going to add some additional bits or pulses for each incoming signal until it matches your local clock so add or stuff some extra bits dummy bits so that it can match the local clock so whenever we have a outgoing data rate higher than the incoming data rate manje apla outgoing data rate ha jasta hai incoming data rate piksha so to match the incoming data rate what we are going to do is nothing but we are going to stuff some additional pulses or some stuff some additional bits to that particular signal so stuff pulses are ins inserted at fixed location in the frame and are removed by a demultiplexer manje kay hota hai ki pulse ya to jo kay pulse stuffing hai to data madhe mix nahi kela jat eka particular location la frame cha add kele jatat his bit and demultiplexer will remove it at the receiver end it means your data rate of outgoing is more manje fast सेंड केला जाता इन दॅट केस यु युअर कम्प्युटर विल वेट इट विल ऍड सम ऍडिशनल बिट आणि मग देन इट विल सेंड इट सो दॅट देर विल बी अ मॅचिंग बिटवीन सेंडर आणि रिसिव्हर ते क्लॉक मॅच केले जातात स्टफ पल्सेस आर इन्सर्ड ऍट अ फिक्स लोकेशन अँड देन इट विल बी रिमूव्ह बाय अ डी मल्टिप्लेक्स सो दिस इज द बेसिक कन्सेप्ट ऑफ ऍडिशनल बिट इन्सर्ट केले जातात now this is one of the classical example of a tdm okay so i will ex explain this example wait a minute i will add its description I'm not able to read i will try to read when i share the ppt you can go through it so usually this is a synchronous tdm to multiplexer digital and analog sources 
बोथ सोर्सेस आहेत डिजिटल सोर्स पण आहे आणि अनलॉग सोर्स पण आहे सो इलेव्हन सोर्सेस आर मल्टिप्लेक्स ऑन अ सिंगल लाईन किती टोटल इलेव्हन सोर्सेस आर मल्टिप्लेक्स सोर्स वन टू सोर्स इलेव्हन ऑल आर मल्टिप्लेक्स ऑन अ सिंगल लाईन दॅट इज द ऍडव्हान्टेज ऑफ अ मल्टिप्लेक्सिंग अँड अगेन देर इज अ कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ अ सोर्सेस फर्स्ट थ्री सोर्सेस आर द अनलॉग सोर्सेस अँड फोर टू इलेव्हन सोर्सेस आर द वॉट आय कॅन कॉल इट ॲज अ डिजिटल सोर्सेस आता इफ यू ऑब्झर्व डिजिटल सोर्स असेल तर इट विल जनरेट द बिट्स पर सेकंड सो डिजिटल सोर्सचा जो काही रेट असेल दॅट विल बी बिट्स पर सेकंड और बाइट्स पर सेकंड सो इट इज बिट्स पर सेकंड हियर 7.2 पॉइंट टू के बी पी एस इज द बिट्स पर सेकंड और बाइट्स पर सेकंड ऑफ अ डिजिटल सोर्स ओके सो दिस इज द स्पीड 7.2 पॉइंट टू के बी पी एस फॉर फॉर ऑल ऑल डिजिटल सोर्सेस हॅव सेम स्पीड ओके नाव सेवन पॉइंट टू इज द मिडल वन सो वॉट वी हॅव टू डू इज नथिंग बट द रॅशनलाइज इट टू अ अपर बाउंड सो इथं इथं जो काही जे पल्स टफिंग केलेलं आहे सेवन पॉइंट टू ला ऍडिशनल जे काही पल्स अप टू दिस अँड वी हॅव जनरेटेड द रेट अप टू एट के बी पी एस ओके सो प्रत्येक ह्याचा एट के बी पी एस केलाय जो इथं फ्रॅक्शन मध्ये आहे त्यामध्ये पल्स टफिंग केलंय जी आता आपण बघितली मेथड सो ऍड द पल्स टफिंग टिपिकल पल्स ऍड केला जातो ऍट द एंड अँड पल्स टफिंग करून इट इज जनरेटेड अप टू एट के बी पी एस आता हे जे सोर्सेस आहेत फर्स्ट थ्री दे आर अनलॉग सोर्सेस नाव वेन एव्हर वी आर नाव इफ यू ऑब्झर्व इट्स रेट इज इन टर्म्स ऑफ हार्ट्स जे फ्रिक्वेन्सी मध्ये असतात अनलॉग सो पहिल्याचा रेट आहे टू किलो हॉर्ट्स सेकंड इज फोर किलो हॉर्ट्स अगेन सोर्स थ्री नाव रिमेंबर इफ वी आर गोइंग फॉर अनलॉग सिग्नल आणि अनलॉग सिग्नल ओव्हर द डिजिटल डेटा सॉरी डिजिटल लाईन आपल्याला पाठवायचं असेल तर वॉट वी आर गोइंग टू डू अनलॉग सोर्सेस आर कन्व्हर्टेड इन टू डिजिटल सिग्नल राईट अनलॉग डेटा हा जो काय अनलॉग हा अनलॉग डेटा आहे इट इज कन्व्हर्टेड इन टू अ डिजिटल सिग्नल अनलॉग डेटा टू डिजिटल सिग्नल आपण कुठली टेक्निक बघितली आहे तर पीसीएम पल्स कोल्ड मॉड्युलेशन आपण वापरतो विच वी हॅव स्टडीड इन अ प्रिवियस चॅप्टर ऑर प्रिवियस थिंग वेअर पीसीएम इज युज नाव पीसीएम मध्ये आपण एक सिम्पल थिअरम बघितलेला की जर सिग्नलचा जो काही रेट असेल त्याच्या ट्वाईस आपण बँडविट कन्सिडर करायची बरोबर पीसीएम मध्ये आपण एक थेरम बघितलेला लक्षात असेल तर जर जी काही रेट आहे त्याच्या डबल बँडविट कन्सिडर करायची सो रिक्वायर सॅम्पलिंग रेट इज फोर थाउजंड सॅम्पल्स पर सेकंड फ्रॉम वन टू थ्री सो वी आर गोइंग टू कन्सिडर हिअर फोर थाउजंड सॅम्पल्स वी आर गोइंग टू पर सेकंड वी आर गोइंग टू ट्रान्सफर so what we are going to consider is nothing but a twice the rate okay so twice the rate of an input so for sources 1 to 3 8000 samples uh so, sorry for uh 1 and 3 it is 4000 two cha double 4000 2000 hertz the right side टू थाउजंड टू के किलो हर्ट आहे म्हणजे टू थाउजंड हर्ट्स सो त्याच्या डबल फोर थाउजंड हर्ट्स अँड हिअर ऑल्सो फोर थाउजंड हर्ट सॅम्पल फोर थाउजंड सॅम्पल्स पर सेकंड वाईस द बँडविट अँड हिअर इट इज फोर था फोर किलो हर्ट्स दॅट मीन्स फोर थाउजंड हर्ट्स सो हिअर सोर्स टू विल रिक्वायर अ एट थाउजंड सॅम्पल्स सोर्स टू विल रिक्वायर अ एट सॅम्पल्स ओके so these samples are analog samples now we are up going to apply uh, digitization over it so first bit four bits are used for each analog sample and for convenience these source will be first we are going to multiplex these sources and the output of this multiplex sources are given to the scan operation so first preference given to these first three sources and then 4 to 11 sources are considered so at the 
स्कॅन रेट विल बी फोर किलो हर्ट्स मॅक्झिमम इथं फोर किलो हर्ट स्कॅन आहे त्यामुळे द स्कॅन रेट विल बी अ फोर किलो हर्ट्स so from these all 4 kilohertz this is this is this is so three samples are collected okay so this is a 4 this is a 4 8 and 8 total 16 1000 samples are generated and these 16k samples are uh, processed per second and this is how this frequency division multiplexing works so these two pam samples are generated total these 16k samples are generated which are given to this translator so four bit translator will be there so it will be 16 into 4 so 16 into so over a 16 into 4 is a 64 so total composite rate 64 kbps is generated from these three analog sources we have three analog sources so apan digital made conversion kela simple logic vaparla ki pcm sathi jeva apan pcm made convert karto tevha jo kai source asto tacha double bandwidth lagte so hacha 2 kilohertz hai manje 2000 hertz te tacha double 4000 hertz 8000 hertz ani 4000 hertz if i add all three it is it comes as a 16000 manje apan 16000 sample per second process karnar hai from we are convert going to convert it to the pan zar tumhi magchi slides kadun baka ani tya 16000 sample apan kasa karnar hai ki 4 bit pcm ni apan process karnar hai zar 4 bit pcm ni process kela the total will be 16 into 4 is nothing but a 64 kbps ta aplyala data generate hona so that 64 kbps data is added here okay and this is 8 8 8 kiti channels athe 4 pasun 11 right so 4 to 11 kiti hota 8 4 12 8 parat 8 8 hota Eight channel total. Eight channels are there, right? From four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So total eight channels. We we start again generating eight eight kbps. So eight eight into eight again it will generate a sixty four kbps output. Total seven digital channel. Digital channels are sixty four four kbps output. Any analog channels are sixty four kbps output. स्कैन ऑपरेशन प्रोसेस करना टोटल 128 kbps का आउटपुट सिग्नल हा टीडीएम जनरेट करना दिस इज हाउ द टीडीएम वर्क्स समझ लो दिस इज अल एक्साम्पल जर कल तो तुम्हें एकदा स्वतः शांतपने बजा एक्सप्लेनेशन जर कल नी बैक रेफर का पीसीएम पी एम चेन अगेन यू गो थ्रू स्टील नहीं कला संगा विल डिस्कस इट अगे सो दिस इज द सेम एक्साम्पल जी अपन आता बगित नेक्स्ट पॉइंट इज अ डिजिटल कैरियर सिस्टम सो फॉर लॉन्ग डिस्टन्स दिस डिजिटल कैरियर सिस्टम इज यूज सो दिस इज नॉट देर इन युअर सिलेबस डिजिटल कैरियर Digital carrier is not not there. So next point is a statistical TDM, which is again different from analog TDM. Statistical TDM, the name itself suggests that instead of synchronous, we are going to use a statistical TDM. Actually, statistical TDM now we have block that the slots dynamically are a lot के लिए जाता है. not a statistically okay. so in this in synchronization synchronization tdm the sync tdm hai tachat many slots are wasted jas atta mhatla ki apan atta chis bagitli ta pulse stopping kela jata additional slot vaparle jata many times the slots are wasted in the synchronization je synchronize karnyamadhe barechhe slot waste hotat 
instead of that we are going to use a statistical tdm which allocates the time slot dynamically based on a demand the statistical uh, synchronized tdm madhe bares da blank slots pan jatat mag jasa apan pahila bagitle description madhe empty slots are also sent with the stuffing of a pulse so to avoid this what we are going to do is nothing but a here we are allocating the slots on a dynamically based on a demand ani randomly pan mje particular sequence follow karto asa nahi hyacha madhe kasa sequence is followed one after another one frame after another frame here we are not going to follow the sequence okay multiplexer scans the input line and collects the data data until frame is full म्हणजे जो मल्टिप्लेक्सर काय करतो की स्कॅन द इनपुट लाईन ज्या काही असतील त्याच्या तो डेटा फ्रेम फुल होईल मध्ये बघतो लाईन लाईन डेटा रेट लोअर लोअर दॅन द एग्रीगेट इनपुट ऑफ अ लाईन रेट मेनी टाइम द लाईन डेटा रेट युजली इज लोअर दॅन एग्रीगेट सो लोअर डेटा रेट साठी दिस विल बी युजफुल लोअर लाईन डेटा साठी this is the useful so it may have a many problem uh, have a problem during the peak period like buffer input sati vagare it will create some time of problem so that is the disadvantage of statistical tdm exactly statistical tdm ka is the dekho bhaiya so this is the same frame format will be there so overall frame format will be flag flag nantar address bar control bits then statistical tdm some frame frame check sequence and then again comes the flag in flag start flag and end flag so what is the sub frame it is consists of sub frame with one source per frame so sub frame if you observe the header is consist of a address bar and then there is a data so address and a data is the sub frame now if there is a sub frame with a single source you will have the same address and same uh, different data in this data frame so same address and different data now if sub frame with a multiple sources are there then each time you have to change the address because sources are a different so different source address is mentioned here so this is a address then length of a data you have to specify and then the data packets come or a data frame comes likewise if there are multiple n number of then this is the frame for a source 1 source 2 up to source n this is how the frames are generated for a different sources single source as if the address change nahi ho so single frame is generated if there are multiple sources the pratyek source sati you have to generate a different frame so address length and data so this is a statistical frame format now actually what is the difference between it is not mentioned in the the ppt give me a moment so what is exactly difference between the statistical tdm and uh, what i can say a synchronous tdm mujhe apan pehle na synchronous bagitlo and then this is a statistical so what is the difference between these two so i will show you one more diagram which will exactly give you a difference or which will exactly tell you what is the difference between the statistical tdm and a uh, synchronized tdm okay so here comes the diagram so go through this diagram what is the difference you can you go through and tell me what difference you observe between these two i will give you a minute 
just stop there. What is the difference? सांगा कोण तरी अनम्यूट करून सांगा आय एम वेटिंग आर यू एबल टू रीड दिस डायग्राम जी डायग्राम कळतीये का तुम्हाला काय आहे दिस वन Okay, I will explain. Am I audible? Somehow blur, blur hai thoda sa. Okay. Uh, unused capacity just hai. Okay. Unused capacity just hai. Piksha send ka saat ke la data check ke la ka tumi. First data is continuous. First data is continuous, but if you observe. Yes, the diagram is bit blur. I I give you it. Still, what I will show you is nothing but check this one. First, we will check this one. Okay, this is the main diagram. There are four users A, B, C, D. And here time slot set. The T zero to T one has slot. Made A one ni ek data frame part part holiye. T zero to T one. User A sends one data frame. T zero to T one user B sends one data frame. T zero to T one no data frame sent by a user C. T zero to two T one no data frame sent by a user D. Only two users sends the data frame in T zero to two T one. If we consider T one to T two A one A user don't send a frame. T1 to T2, B sends the one frame, C sends the frame, one frame. No frame sent by a D. T2 to T3, no frame by A, no frame by B, no frame by C, no frame by D. So in this slot, no frame is sent by any of the user. In fourth cycle, T3 to T4, A sends the one frame and C sends the one frame and D. No frame by a so this is how the data frame is sent by a different user to the remote computer okay now this is a synchronous time division multiplexing in this first case uh, or sorry in the first cycle if you observe this is a bit blue barobar hai sky blue this tak he do and this is the white one so a1 if it is a sky blue means that user is sending the frame white means user is not sending the frame so in first cycle a1 sends the frame right yes a1 sends the frame b1 sends the frame that is b sends the frame one so it a sends the frame one so it is a1 b1 in the slot 1 c don't sends the frame so if you observe this is a blank frame but in synchronous time division multiplexing you have to send for synchronization he knows the a a1 and b1 sir pathavla and fourth sir nahi pathavla that you will lost the synchronization so you have to use this unused capacity with some lines uh, blank stuff so stuff the bits here in c1 frame stuff the bits here in a d1 frame which are just a bit stuffing no data as such and send over the network so this is the unused capacity frames is stuffed with the some pulse uh, bits and send over the network so this is the first cycle 
unless and until first cycle is complete you will not able to start the second cycle it is not possible to start the second cycle unless and until first cycle is complete the pehla cycle purna ho jala nantar mag second cycle chal karna to friend this will be a blank frames or unused capacity send over the network once we complete the first cycle we'll start with the second cycle again if you observe a2 is not sending the frame so it is a white one b2 and c2 are sending the frame so b2 and c2 light blue with the address and d2 d is again not sending the frame so this is again an unused capacity again complete the second cycle and then start with the third cycle the here you are wasting the time also and wasting the capacity also in a synchronous but synchronization is achieved and there will be a less loss of a data now in this second one statistical tdm if you observe here one is a address kutun kuni send kele so address of a source and the data of a source so a1 and then immediately b1 okay so a1 is sending the data b1 is a sending the data so here the first cycle is finished itself bagitla hcha half hai first cycle first cycle is finished after a1 and b1 no blank form of a c1 and d1 send nahi kele jata hai immediately start with the next time t1 to t2 and code part hota hai t1 madhe a nahi pathvat hai ya t1 to t2 madhe b ani c so send the b2 and c2 so again it finishes the second cycle immediately you can start at either don cycles a comparison ke liye you can immediately start the third cycle also. so this is the unused capacity and unused time you will have between or uh, extra time you have between the sender and receiver so this is possible with a statistical tdm so statistical tdm in many time faster but only thing what you have to maintain is the source and receiver the connection in a proper way if it is lost then there will be a data loss the synchronization made hot way because we are continuously sending the data in a proper manner so that is the statistical tdm alala so this is all about the multiplexing time division multiplexing madhe apan kay baghitla frequency division multiplexing wavelength division multiplexing time division two types ek ahe a uh, synchronous time division multiplexing and another is a statistical time division multiplexing okay, now we'll start with the switching network circuit switching and packet switching ji concept banare ha he tumcha sela kay the pustakatla 10th unit hai tumcha fourth je unit hai te combining of two chapter book madla 8 chapter जो मल्टीप्लेक्सिंग है बुक मधला टेन चैप्टर जो स्विचिंग है सर्किट स्विचिंग पैकेट स्विचिंग पार्ट है यू कैन रेफर द बुक एंड सिलेबस सिलेबस अकॉर्डिंगली यू कैन कंसिडर द चैप्टर्स ओके ना व्हाट इज एक्जैक्टली कन्सेप्ट ऑफ अ स्विचिंग का स्विचिंग कन्सेप्ट anyone knows what is a circuit switching any packet switching आता हे सर्किट स्विचिंग कधी सुरू झालं स्विचिंग नेटवर्क म्हणजे काय असतं दॅट आय विल एक्सप्लेन यू त्याची थोडीशी हिस्ट्री सांगते आणि मग आपण कन्सेप्ट कडे येऊया पहिल्यांदा स्विचिंग नेटवर्क हे टेलिफोन लाईन जेव्हा डिझाईन झाल्या त्यावेळी सुरू झालं सो टेलिफोन सिस्टीम वेअर युझिंग द सर्किट स्विचिंग टेक्निक सर्किट स्विचिंग टेक्निक वॉज अ डॉमिनंट फॉर व्हॉइस कम्युनिकेशन इट इज इवन गुड फॉर digital communication but over the period of a time the packet switching network were well, uh, designed mm, especially when there 
was a requirement of a long distance communication long distance communication there whenever there is a short distance ki wa local communication as i mean for example there is a 10 meter or 5 meters connection jo wa land land madhe pan nahi hona ni jo wa computers are placed in the same room and you connect with each other point to point connection upran tumhala he switching network lagat nahte when there is a long distance communication where your sender is placed at one location and receiver is on another location at that time the technology for a switching is a started ki switching networks design karal lagle ani jasa around 1980 when the computer uh, digital transmission started digital data processing started or a digital data sending started the packet switching technology is designed again while designing it takes the base of a circuit switching and on that basis the basic technology of packet switching is started around 1970s or 80s and packet switching remains one of the few effective technologies for a long distance communication so whenever we are transferring the data beyond the local area communication is usually or a transmission of a data usually achieved from source to destination through multiple intermediate network there ek kai direct line naste tumcha source ani destination mare there are multiple intermediate network and these multiple intermediate networks are intermediate nodes are used nothing but a switching nodes and switch network design is typically implemented for lan as well as wan as well as your many internet working where a long distance communication is there okay today i will start, stop here because it is already 12 we we'll start with this switching networks in next tomorrow's lecture we'll complete this circuit switching and packet switching networks today we'll stop mark your attendance